Hey everybody, it's Lewis and I'd like to welcome you to my channel if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a what is my iPhone video because I just recently got a new phone. I've had this phone for about, for almost two months now and it's just an iPhone 7 Plus in matte black and I really enjoy it. So because I can't show you guys my lock screen because I'm going to be screen recording my screen, I'll show you guys right now. It's just, I'm just trying to lower the quality so you guys don't see me through the thing. But it's just this um, picture of like a moon and some trees in the house and I just think it looks cool because like when you unlock the phone it like fades out. Yeah, let's get on with the video. Alright, so when you first come into my phone you see at the top there I have messages, FaceTime, Yahoo Weather. I just prefer Yahoo Weather over the normal weather that comes on your phone because it's just much nicer and it's more detailed as well. Like I'm going to show you guys, it shows you the highest, the lowest and the current and then it also shows you like if it's clear or not. And then when you scroll down you can see here it shows you like the weather by the time and then 10 days it also shows you what it feels like the humidity percent the visibility and then it also shows you like the precipitation percentage throughout like the stages of the day so there's night overnight early morning morning and afternoon and I just think it just looks nicer than like the normal or the app from Apple so I just prefer that one then I have camera photos Tesco mobile which is my carrier so I can track my data usage my minutes my text and everything then I have App Store and Google Photos I use to back up my photos from my camera roll because it saves me storage. And then I have Notes and in there I just have my ideas for notes, you know, just my ideas for videos, music, anything that I want to write down I always put it in my notes. And then I also have Clock and I actually really enjoy using the bedtime app because you can adjust like as you can see right there. I always like to aim for at least an hour and 10 minutes because you know those 10 minutes are extra for me because I'm very lazy. But yeah, I always try to use this during school because right now I'm on holiday so I kind of go to sleep whenever I want, even though I should be, I shouldn't be going to sleep that late, but you know, I like to keep my bedtime app for school day. And then I have calendar and Gmail. I just prefer the Gmail app over the regular iPhone mail app because it's just nicer and it just looks better. And I also have maps because I need maps to get around and I have settings, wallet, which I just have my debit card stored and some expired passes from like ages ago. And then I also have AIB Mobile, which is my bank. At the bottom here, at the dock, I have phone, Safari, and my music. If you guys want to see my music, I'm just going to show you guys right now. I just have like tones because I have Lewis, Taylor, Mariah. I also have sleep because I'm a weirdo. That's it, really. And then I have here at my playlist, I'm just going to scroll through it really quickly so if you guys want to like see what songs I have. It's very diverse, by the way, because like, I listen to like so many music, but yeah. I'm just going to keep scrolling a little bit faster. There, there you go. 239 songs, 15 hours, 60 minutes. Moving on to my second page, I like to keep everything aesthetically, so I just have all the folders names as X's, but I do know what they are. So the first folder here at the top, I have my social folder, and here I just have WhatsApp, which is what I use to talk to my parents if I don't have <clears throat> credit, because right now I'm on holidays in Brazil, and I can't use my SIM because the roaming charges would be very expensive, so I just like to use WhatsApp because, you know, whenever we have internet, we can talk to each other. And then I also have Instagram, if you guys want to follow me on my main account, it is lewis.olivera7. And then I also have Twitter, and I don't really use it, I just really use it to see what people are tweeting instead because I just like to see like what people tweet about. And then I also have Snapchat, and if you guys want to go add me, it is lewis2k19 there at the top as you guys can see. And then I have YouTube, which you're on right now, and make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And then I also have day one, and on the, in this app I just have... It's like a journal app and I always like to like document my day. So I always like to try and keep at least something there. So because, and then the calendar here, it shows you like whenever you've done it, there's like a whole period that I didn't add because like I just didn't want to. But I haven't really been adding that long. Like the last time I really took it seriously was April last year, 2018. And I've been doing it since October 2017. But yeah, like I, I'm trying to like do every day this month because I've been on holidays. But yeah, sometimes I forget but I'm gonna try and then it's also nice because like whenever you quit the app like it asks you for your password or your touch ID again so it's very handy and then I also have Netflix and I also have TV time which is what I use to track the episodes that I've been watching on particular shows and then here it's just like a health slash bob folder because I like I love walking and then here I just have sweat coin which is not whenever you walk it gives you an app currency and it lets you use those coins for like different things so like subscriptions or anything on the app. So I haven't used this app in a long time because I just mentioned I'm on holidays, but once I get back home, I probably will use it. So today I've took 3,192 steps, which is actually kind of okay considering the fact that I really haven't left the house today. 
But yeah, as you guys can see there, it shows you your balance. And then here, once you click on that little folder thing, oh, I'm in the Brazil one. Like, as you guys can see there, it lets you give to charities. I never knew about that one. And then it also has like different offers. So here it says that you can get an iPhone XS for 20,000 sweat coins, then 1,000 for 20,000, a Samsung TV for 20,000, and then a 1,000 KLM Airways holiday for 20,000 as well. And then you can also get Tidal and three months of TV fit, which is probably some. And you guys can see like all the different subscriptions they have. Here I just have walk meter and this app just helps me track my walk whenever I go. Like it shows me my map, my distance covered, my calories lost and everything. And then the health app I actually find quite useful because like it just gives you useful information on like your health, I guess. And then moving on to my music folder, I just have an app called Tuner Light. I don't use it to tune, I just use it to like see the notes that I'm hitting because sometimes I'm not weird and I like to see what notes I'm hitting just to see if my range is increasing or decreasing or whatever. And that's how SoundCloud, which is where my original song is. If you guys want to go check that, I'll leave it linked in the description box down below. And then I have guitar tune, I to tune my guitar and my other instruments, files, voice memos, which if you're a musician, like you have to have voice memos on your phone because you will forget the melody of a song you're writing. So I always like to keep that there. And then I also have Shazam. Moving on, this folder here, I just have an editing folder and in here I just have Insta size, which is to add the borders in your pictures. Sometimes I like to use the filters, but not that often. I just use it mostly for the borders. And then I also have VSEO cam, which I use for filters and just editing the picture overall. And then Facetune. And then I have this business folder, which is just where I keep like my YouTube things and to-do lists and everything. So here I have Fonto, which is what I use for my thumbnails for the text. And then I have Subcount, which I can see my Subcount right there. And then I also have my media. YouTube Studio lets you see like your analytics if you have a channel, wonder list. I just downloaded recently because I want to try and like have a list set because I want to try and like be more organized. And then I also have Authenticator, which is downloaded because I needed that for that wonder list. Moving on, I have an education folder right here. And in here I just have Duolingo because I'm trying to learn French, so don't forget because like I did so bad in my results and I was really annoyed. But you know. I always try to aim for the best, so this year in school is my last year, so I'm going to do really well. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and be organized, because last year in school I didn't really go in because like I was like very lazy, but this year I have to go in, so I'm going to do my best to stay in school, so that's what I'm going to do this year. And then I also have Google Classroom, because sometimes my teachers like to post things over, this, over the summer holidays just to check in on us, because some teachers do care. And then I have... Uh, just like an extras folder in here, I have a fun my iPhone calculator, Tingles. I use Tingles, don't judge me, because like I love listening to ASMR to fall asleep because I actually like it. So yeah, and then I also have Flight Radio 24, which is just an app and it lets you like see all the flights that are flying above you. So I'm really into aviation because I want to become a flight attendant, so anything to do with aviation I enjoy. So here I just like to keep this app. So whenever like I'm outside and like with my friends we're gonna say like, oh what plane is that? And then we just see what plane it is and then we just enjoy it quite a lot. And then I have podcasts because sometimes I love listening to like true crime podcasts because they're just so entertaining to like listen to and, and stuff. And let me show you guys actually one that I really enjoy. Like it's called, yeah, that one right there, Bedtime Stories. You guys should really listen to it. Like it's so scary. And like especially like, it, it literally will give you chills because like it's so good to listen to. And he tells it like in a very nice way, so I really like it. And then famous birthdays, which you know what it is, and then I also have booking.com. Moving on to my last folder, I'm not going to go into into too many into too much detail on these games because I'm just because there's just too many. The video will be too long, so I'm just going to show you guys what I have. So I just have 2048, Purple Diver, Run Race 3D, Polysphere, Train Taxi, Helix Jump, Bouncing Ball, Sky Burger, Word Brain, and Dragon Park. I don't usually like to have that many games on my phone, but because I'm like traveling right now, I shouldn't have them. But I have them anyway just in case because sometimes like we go out and like we're waiting ages or. We're like in the car and we're bored. I just have these. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you guys would like to suggest an app that I should be aware of, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.